Welcome to Killer Games Season 8 Power Up, brought to you by TCL Google TV. Woo! Yay! Welcome to Killer Games Season 8 Power Up! This season, there are three killers, three civilians, and four superpowers. The killers are bad guys, and the rest are good guys. During the night, the guard grants one player immunity from the killers. He cannot guard the same player on consecutive nights. The killers kill off one player. The psychic killer can check if a player is a civilian or a superpower. The doctor can save or poison someone once per game. Both abilities cannot be used in the same night. In the event a player is guarded and saved, he will die of overdose. The hero detective can check if a player is good or bad. He can also sacrifice himself in the day to take someone down. This power cannot be activated if he is killed or voted off. One of the killers is a super killer. He can self-destruct to kill someone in the day and induce immediate nightfall. If the psycho or super killer are killed or voted off, they can kill one player with them. The tough civilian will only die on the second night after he is killed. Romeo and Juliet are civilians who will make a check at the start of the game if both choose the same player, the player's identity will be revealed to them. Both characters will not know who the other is. In the day, all the players will participate in voting one person out of the game. If the good guys manage to eliminate all three killers, the good guys win. If the killers kill all three civilians or all four superpowers, the killers will win. Are you ready? Let the games begin! Uh, hello. I'm Jason, and my role is... Ah. A personal butler. An entertainment hub. A work assistant. Most of you will think that I'm talking about myself. But no, this is TCL Google TV. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hazel. I wanted to be a super idol, but I became a super killer instead. Whoa. Oh no, I can't even be that. Hi, my name is Hirzi and I'm just excited because uh, TCL, I, I would like for you guys to give me a TV. So, shout out. <laughs> Thank you. Let me know about the sponsorship. And uh, my role is, uh, oh, I'm straight. Hey! <laughs> Hi, I'm Lingyi and uh, my role is, wow, some role that I've never gotten before. Killer. Hi, my name is Janelle and I got another role this time. Wow, no shit. Yeah, of course, uh, no shit. <laughs> Hi, my name is Linny, and before this, I wasn't awake, but now I'm super awake and ready to win this game. Hi, my name is Nick. There are many pretty women here on today's game. I don't know who to flirt with. Hi, I'm Kelly, and I'm definitely gonna kill Fish first, if I'm the killer. Hi, I'm Fish. Tip number six of the killer game. No personal attacks, please. Friendly <laughs> banter is acceptable, but don't call people stupid. It's not very nice. Jason! Stupid. It's not very nice. Nightfall! Everyone close your eyes. Guard, open your eyes. Guard, who would you like to guard? Guard, close your eyes. Romeo, open your eyes. Romeo, who would you like to check? Romeo, close your eyes. Juliet, open your eyes. Juliet, who would you like to check? No match! Killers, open your eyes. Killers, who would you like to kill? Kelly, who you want to kill? Mm. Kelly, kill me! I want to kill Janelle. Okay, we kill Janelle. <laughs> Killers, close your eyes. Doctor, open your eyes. Doctor, this person has died. Would you like to save this person? Doctor, close your eyes. Psychic killer, open your eyes. Psychic killer, who would you like to check? Psychic killer, close your eyes. Hero detective, open your eyes. Hero detective, who would you like to check? Hero detective, close your eyes. Daytime, everyone open your eyes. Last night was a peaceful night. Very nice. You didn't kill me. I have to talk without any information. Uh. Um, I cannot review. Next. I checked the prettiest girl here. And I'm good, right? And she's good. <laughs> yep, I'll let you all figure things out. Lah. Fight, <laughs> fight, fight, fight. So based on that, I think number seven is good. 
because she's the prettiest girl here. I think Kelly is a bit sus. Okay, honestly, I don't have much information. What do you think Kelly not pretty? <laughs> she's pretty, sus. I feel like I let something loose. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, upon waking up, she said like, Oh my gosh, you guys didn't kill me. So maybe that was being a bit like uh, too over in trying to cover up her tracks. But let's hear what she has to say because we are so clueless now. I'm a good guy in this round. I'm a good guy. I'll keep my roles shut because Thomas is hinting that he is a detective. Yeah, I'm sitting on information, but let's wait for round two. I promise I'll reveal it in round two. I think that's all I, I'll, I'll say for now. Thank you. I actually have a feeling that Janelle might have been killed and then maybe doctor or something happened and saved her because the Kelly and the fish looked like they really wanted to kill her. Thomas is saying he's a detective, but also I'm getting like detective vibe from like Jason and Herzi. So I think if you want to be exciting, you might as well just take Thomas down if you know that he's lying. Because a hero detective can explode and take somebody down. Just a suggestion, lah. Okay? Uh, I think I can just say it. I'm psycho. So, yeah, that's all the information I have. Waiting for doctor to say something. Well, I must say, I think Thomas is right. Because I'm the pretty girl that's good. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. <laughs> From what I know about Thomas, it's not I don't believe. Are. Tip number six of the killer game. <laughs> no personal attack. <laughs> Okay, I think Hazel is trying to bribe me, so I sus. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. Girls, eh? You say they're pretty, they suspect you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, okay, I'm, I'm the guard. Uh, I think I can say because we got <coughs> four superpowers. I I cannot guard myself anymore because I got guard, guarded myself the first night. But it's okay. I I feel like we can just lose one superpower. Uh, and other than that, I have no more information. Other than the fact that Lingyi says she's a psycho, but she could be a Super killer. I mean, I don't know. Uh, Alright, uh, tip number seven. Take risks and try a creative place. Sometimes it may pay off or make you look really cool. Uh, you know what? Let's try something cool. Alright, so since Thomas say it's a pretty girl and we cannot determine who is pretty in Thomas's eyes, how about we just vote off one of the guys, which includes me, Jason, Hirzi, or Fish. I right. like... Whoa, don't assume yeah, my gender. <laughs> Whoa! I thought Hirzi was the prettiest girl. True. Okay, we vote in between Jason, Fish, or me. Alright, so each of you just choose one and then after that you vote. You know what, just vote whoever you think is the ugliest guy. Wow! Tip number six. I included myself inside, okay? Yeah, but like, like whoever is the most sus, right? Like, according to like that one thing that I got from all these people, la, like a girl is good. And then, uh, yeah, la, let's just vote out a guy. La. Um, okay, but one by one, I'll say lah. Um, I'm not going to talk about two and three because you guys sort of hinted that you guys are superpowers, but let's not talk about that. Five, I actually don't agree with you in terms of one and four having the hero vibes. In fact, I think that they re didn't really contribute much. So, but you say that you're the psycho lah, but you could be the super killer, so I'm just going to put you as sus-ish. Six, as usual, didn't contribute much. Seven said that he's the guard. She's the guard. I say, I feel like he's very chaotic. I think sacrificing a guy seems very chaotic. Like. It seems very like um, impulsive without really hearing anyone. And he have not even speak and you decide and yourself, you decided to just sacrifice yourself. Unless you are the psycho, Sometimes it doesn't make it sense. Sometimes it pay off or make you look really cool. Oh, you made you look really impulsive. I feel like it's uh, with two, with two or three super. Oh no, with two superpowers, obviously out and two other hinting. I feel like that's your way of killing civilians. Uh. So to me, that's them sasa. Uh. That's about that. If I have to vote, I will vote to you. Tip number ten. This is the one. Some players might pretend to be your role and keep the killers guessing. Not all who lie are bad, but in this case, you are not the detective because I am the detective and I check you, and you're a good guy. <laughs> so I also don't know what to do now. But I'm happy to be in this uh, four-way, you know, kamikaze. Let's go. Voting begins! Three, two, one. Tied vote! Dispute! Walao eh. Okay, I simply voted the ugliest guy lah. <laughs> <laughs> no choice. No choice. Which was what lah? Huh? Eight lah. Eight lah. No, because really I just want to protect myself lah. That's about it. Because uh, my role is really very important. So, uh, don't play play eh. I, I, f I feel like if your role is bloody important, you... You should say it when you are about to maybe get voted out lah, you know. If, at the end, then you get voted out, then also no use lah if you are important, right? I also voted the ugliest guy. <laughs> <laughs> well done! <laughs> so let's poll the audience. Who do you guys think yeah. is the uglier one? Let us know in the comments below. Yeah. Who do you think is ugly and why is it Nick? Oh wait, sorry. <laughs> number six. <laughs> I do think Kelly is coming off very, very aggressive. Uh. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'll just say it. 
I'm a Romeo. I don't believe Nick, uh, honestly. Because uh, he is just being chaotic. Uh, and uh, Jason is damn sus also. Uh, he also never say who he is. Um, I definitely won't say who I am because there's like four powers <laughs> out. Uh, but if you want to vote me, Ken, I feel like uh, I'm not that important. So if you want to vote me out, I can take one for the team. Voting begins! 3, 2, 1. Player 9 has been voted out. Any last words? Uh... Good luck, guys. Nightfall, everyone close your eyes. Guard, open your eyes. Guard, who would you like to guard? Guard, close your eyes. Killers, open your eyes. Killers, who would you like to kill? Killers, close your eyes. Doctor, open your eyes. Doctor, this person has died. Would you like to save this person? Doctor, close your eyes. Hero detective, open your eyes. Hero detective, who would you like to check? Hero detective, close your eyes. Daytime, everyone open your eyes. Last night, player two, player six has died. No last words. I guess you will never find out who's the prettiest. Don't know, don't know. Okay, so the next night I can protect myself. Therefore, I'm still safe. Oh man, I have no clue. So sorry. There's a slim chance that Thomas or Janelle was a tough guy and then, you know, they were popped off in the first round and then after that, like, it took effect later. Which means our doctor didn't do anything. Which means maybe Kelly's our doctor, you know. Mm -hmm. But there are, like, a lot of scenarios here, you know. If you're really the guard, then you would know that there's still a cycle. We don't know if there is a Juliet or a tough guy remaining. But then there's me. So after that, you can just, like, rotate your guard for me and you, uh. And after that, we will still be surviving. Hope Fish tells us something if he's really the detective. I'm, I'm actually the detective. I checked Nick yesterday and he was good. Um, I did actually check Thomas in the first night and he was good as well. Beyond that, I don't have any additional information. I think that with Lingy claiming to be the psycho and Linny claiming to be the guard, we could narrow it down to one of the three over there. And Linny could potentially protect me or protect yourself tonight so that we keep people on for the next round. Because I have last words tomorrow. I can tell you who I check in the next night. I think we got enough people to win this game. Because just now when Kelly go off, right, she didn't really want to review her role. She was the only person there who's going to go there. So I think, right, she's the killer. And then she don't want to let everybody know la, that, yeah, la, got two more killer left. Yeah, it's this three. Because Lingyi claimed that she was the psycho, right, I think she's the super killer. I still have my safe. So, yeah, I still have my safe. I'm inclined to believe that Jason is the doctor. While we cannot exclude the fact that Thomas may have been the tough guy, I feel like there's a higher chance that he's a detective and Fish could have been the detective killer because if I were the detective, I would not have checked it. He mentioned that he's a Romeo just now. So I felt like being the detective, you have wasted your powers on one night. That means if Kelly's the killer and Fish is the detective killer, we still have a super killer hiding amongst us here. I believe that Linny is the guard, number 8 is Romeo. I feel like the last killer could be Hyozi. I promised you guys that I have information I was sitting on the other round. Uh... I would like to activate my power and take uh, Hyozi down with me. Nightfall, everyone close your eyes. Guard, open your eyes. Guard, who would you like to guard? Guard, close your eyes. Killers, open your eyes. Killers, who would you like to kill? Killers, close your eyes. Daytime, everyone open your eyes. Last night was a peaceful night. I feel like it's obvious. Based on what happened last night, Jason could have been the super killer. The real detective is Hyozi. So we still have chances of winning this round because we have two civilians and two superpowers left. So in this round, I'll vote Fish out. And then the good guys will win. Uh, I actually kind of agree with Hazel. I believe that, I think Hersey might be the doctor instead of the detective. I still think Thomas might be the detective. And that's why that uh, Fish, being one of the killer, killed him off. And still claiming to be the detective at this very moment. I'm the psycho, y'all can vote me out this round if you guys really want. And I will take him down, if I'm right about it. That's just one option, lah, huh? Uh, but I do think Fish is the last killer. Actually, why do you believe Hazel? I don't know, like, stuff that Hazel has been saying is a bit sus. Like, saying that Fish wasted his check on Nick. I don't think it's a waste. But then again, Fish, Fish is always sus. Uh, I'm, right now, I only believe Lingyi and Nick to be good. So it's, for me, it's between Hazel and Fish. And I just need to hear what Fish has to say. Yeah. 
Okay, I mean, from the, from the moment Jason opened his mouth, it's damn clear that, you know, he's like a bad guy. Because if he was a doctor, he would know who is the tough guy, you know? Because they would know who died first, right? So after that, I, I feel like it's just a snowball of things. I feel like either Thomas or Hirzi was a detective. So after that, I'm highly suspicious of Fish. Uh. I trust that Lingyi is the psycho because there has been no additional death upon death, you see? And I trust that you're the guard, all right? So it's just the three of us and then we just have to choose one of these two. Alright, I hope you save your guard and uh, you can guard me next night. Because no matter what, there's two of you superpowers, alright? So I'm the most bloody important, regardless of who they are, alright? So we just vote out fish first and then if we survive, I mean if there's still some more, then you just guard me next night and then after we vote out Hazel. Regardless of who she is. Okay. <sighs> I'm upset because um, Linny, you didn't tell us who you guarded. That's actually information we need to know for this night. Now, both Nick and Lingyi's play does work. I was going to suggest the same if we knew who you guarded. Both plays don't work. If you get voted out, you take me down with you. We don't know who was guarded. If the killer presses correctly, it's all over. The same with that exact same play, which the killer will know who they attempted to kill last night. And they just do the exact same play again, unless it was myself or Lingyi. I checked Thomas in the first night. He was good. So when Thomas came out and said he's a detective, I thought that was quite funny because he was good and I actually checked him. The reason why I checked Nick was because it's such a chaotic play to throw four people into a bucket and say, let's just vote one of them out. It's something a killer would wanna do. Let's throw four people into a bucket, try and get somebody out nice and early on. So I checked him and he was actually good. In fact, I voted for Nick on that first night because I thought he was bad. Then I checked Hazel and Hazel is the killer. We need to vote her out. The logic doesn't make sense. It was very clear that Jason wasn't the doctor. He jumped down and said, I'm the doctor. Immediately, Hazel rushes to that defense and comes in and says, hey, I think Jason has some credibility here. And as soon as Hersey starts speaking, we find out it's not. So I don't understand why I've been giving credible information that has been very factual, where there are people that are literally contradicting things that have been said that are truthful, and we're not believing that. We need to vote out Hazel. If we don't vote out Hazel, it's a coin flip at nightfall, or we just lose. Voting begins! Three, two, one. Player 10 has been voted out. Game over! The good guys have won! Woo! You'll never believe me, I What do I have to do to be believed? One day it's gonna come back and bite all of you! Convincing, you were convincing! Why don't you kill Hazel? We no, win. because they still got the save. I cannot take Hazel. Yeah. You were also yeah. believable. Until the moment you yeah. say you're gonna take I already Hazel. put Herzi as one of the killers. I know. <laughs> anyway, guys, that was a good game and the good guys have won! See you next time! Nobody knows who the PTS guy is.